Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Cyberpunk 2077. Just a quick video about this glitch I discovered. Well, actually, two things I discovered. One is probably a game feature. The other one is most definitely a glitch, but hey, I'm going to put it to you. Um, it's all about the Armadillo mod. We're going to be creating a like literally hundreds of armadillo mods in this armor build video that I've got coming up. Um, this is part of the multi-build power star, kind of like a transitional phase video between the multi-build power star and the build videos. And I know some of you are like, get to the bills. No, 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 no. Okay. To you, I say, okay, pardon my French, but shut the fuck up. Okay. Seriously. All you hurry uppers are wasting my time and you're wasting my viewers time. Okay. Um, I have created, literally, I've created three, count them, three Comrades Hammer build videos and I had to trash them all because I came to the conclusion that there's something else that we should be doing first, otherwise we'd be just wasting our time. Okay, I'll get to that next video, um, but for now, um, we are going to be creating a ton of armadillo mods in the next video. And before somebody tries to explain this to me, I'm going to explain it to you. Um, the way I thought this originally worked was that uh, if you wanted higher quality armadillo mods, you had to actually get the perk related to that mod. Um, for example, let's say we wanted rare armadillo mods. We would need the true craftsman perk in order to create rares, otherwise the game will only feed you commons and uncommons. That apparently is not true. Um, even though it's like based on your level, for example, you need to be a certain level to create rares and a certain level to create epics and whatnot. And then even then, um, it only gives you a chance, even if you have the true craftsman perk, if you try to create an armadillo mod, um, there's only a chance that you're gonna get a rare. And all those particular chances I'm going to talk about in the next video. That's not really the subject of this video. I'm just explaining that I do know about that. You know, it's not like you're going to automatically get a rare just because you have the true craftsman perk. All right. So uh, back to the point is we are going to create 10. All right. 10 armadillo mods. And I just want to show you. I do not have the true craftsman perk. And I do not have any rare armadillo mods in my inventory at this moment. There's all the 25 legendaries I collected. And as you can see, no armadillo mods whatsoever. None. Alright. Let's crank out 10 armadillo mods. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Go back to our inventory. Look at here. I created a rare. I had no idea you could do that. I knew that there was always only a chance you could create a rare, even if you have the true craftsman perk and you have to like, you know, I've got specific detailed statistics on what your chances are of creating a rare. I'm going to talk about that in the next video. Um, it's like 7% or something like that. Anyway, so I'll talk about that in the next video. I'll do. I've created like 500 armadillo mods so far. I did that this morning. Um, and I'll talk about all the stats. But look at that. I created a rare without even having the true grass and perk. So apparently that is not even a necessity. It's just, it's all about your level. How high your level is. And to create epics, for example, you need to be up to around level 30. And I don't know exactly what it is to create rares, but... Uh, once you pass a certain level, you don't even need the true cosmic perk to create rares. Anyways, that's not what this is all about. This is about another glitch I discovered. This is insane. I have Googled all over the place trying to, to find somebody who's talking about this. And, uh, you know, I'm sure some viewer is going to post a comment saying that this is some game feature that everybody else knows about except me. Uh, go ahead, I dare you. Okay, seriously. Anyways, this is something I discovered with any legendary item that has pre-filled mod slots, okay? Um, I just went on a big legendary armor run, as many of you know, and I collected 25 free legendaries, free legendary armors. I was going for, I was re-rolling them all, trying to go for at least three mod slots on all of them. And I inadvertently collected 
two of them with only two mod slots. Actually, one of them, this one here, the dual layer polymod rocker vest I collected way back in the multi build power start. And I kept this all along because I was fortunate enough to get the Fortuna mod on it, which is plus 15% crit chance. So I kept that. And then there's another one which I didn't mean to only have two mod slots. I was going for three mod slots at least. You can get up to four on torso um, pieces. All the others max out at three. But um, I was only going for three because I couldn't be bothered trying to roll for four. Anyways, I inadvertently picked up another one with only two mod slots pre filled mod slots okay that's the key with both these pre-filled mod slots i found them like that all right now watch what happens when i replace one of these mods okay let's say we're going to replace this with an armadillo mod there we go and of course it will destroy the pre-existing pre mod as you replace it that's normal watch carefully and boom i got another mod slot abracadabra what the fuck I have, like, I did this, like, a couple weeks ago, right? And um, I was like, okay, that, that particular item is glitched. I didn't really think anything of it, right? And then it was only, like, this morning when I found another piece with only that only had two mod slots on it. And I decided to test it again to see if it... Okay, so let's do this again. Let's replace this armadillo mod slot or this with an armadillo mod okay watch what happens okay watch destroys the original mod and boom abracadabra i got into i got a third mod slot the hell so uh i'm like what when when did this happen like what what you know like where, where is this talked about I didn't see anything about that. You get a free mod slot on outer torso pieces that have two pre-filled mods slots that... No, no, that's got to be a glitch. So, yeah, free mod slot. Look, see? Post a comment. Try it for yourself. Unfortunately, I don't have... Um, what I would love to find is... Um, like either some glasses, or some pants, or some boots that only have two mod slots, like two pre-filled mod slots, or a helmet, or like a hat or something that only has two pre-filled mod slots, and try replacing it, one of those mod slots, with an armadillo mod, and see if you can get a free mod slot out of it, like, like I just demonstrated, but unfortunately I don't have any. All my other... Um, See here, I can't even wear this, but it already has three pre-filled. Here, these are all three. That oh, here's one that has two. I'm gonna have to wait till I get to level 18 to try that out. I'll get back to you on that because that's uh, I'm gonna do that actually when we do the comrades hammer build. Immediately go up to level 18. But yeah, actually, I think I have a save. Okay, if I could find that save, I'm gonna have, I've got like so many backed up saves. I'm gonna hunt, th hunt through all my backed up saves. I just cleaned them all out because I was like, there was like way too many. I had like 300 backed up saves. Um, I think I do have a backed up save where I can wear this. And then I'll try replacing that and see if it works. But hey, you can try it for yourself. Any armor piece that only has two pre filled mod slots, try replacing one of those mod slots and see if you can get a free third mod slot. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Try it. Post a comment. I'd, like, I'd love to see uh, your results. Um, anyways, as for exploiting this, um, when we get finally get to the builds, I don't want to exploit this, but I, I want this Fortuna mod. This is how I discovered this. I decided I was going to put up with only two mod slots on this one, when I created the Comrades Hammer build and just simply replaced this with an Armadillo mod. And this is what, that's how I first discovered that. So, um, and then there's this other one, this here. This particular reinforced seam cotton rocker tank is the one piece of legendary inner torso armor I have that is the highest um, armor by default. So, I think I'm going to use that anyways, even though it 
produces a third mod slot for some magical reason. I'm going to use that anyways. But that's not really my style normally to exploit glitches. So, yeah, try it for yourself. Post a comment. Get back to me with the results of what you managed to do. So there we go. That's it. I just wanted to you know, show those two things there um, before we get to um, an armor build video. That's going to be kind of like a generic armor build video that you should you should definitely do this for any build that you're going to do in the multi-build power start that is going to have a lot of armor because like I said you're going to be creating a crap ton of armadillo mods just to get a few handful of rares and I'll explain all about that in the next video all right so thanks a lot for watching and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative you know what to do give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel stuff like that there and I'll see you next time for some more cyberpunk 2077 Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.